Hey guys, what is going on? This is Raj here, and today I'm going to show you guys the best settings that you guys can get in Apex Legends. So what you're going to want to do first is go straight to the firing range as I am right here. Take your two favorite weapons, from these the Peacekeeper and the R99. Once you guys have your attachments, your weapons, whatever you want, uh, you just go straight to your settings. Now this first tab here is probably the most important in all of your settings tabs right here. So right here, <clears throat> the first thing you're going to want to do is go down to Weapon. Or weapon auto cycle on empty you're gonna have that on on your auto sprint will also be on because what this will do is it's automatically turned off but when you turn it on uh, you guys realize when you have the sprint you need to click your left analog stick to sprint but right here you just have to press it forward now this is a really good mechanic in this game because it'll be saving your controller a bunch of like button pushing button mashing that kind of stuff that's gonna wear your controller down eventually so right here you're going to have that on your double tap sprint you're going to want to turn that off if it's on I'm, I don't think it's um, a default mechanic in this game but you want to have that off now this one here is extremely important this death taking damage to close death box menu you're going to want to have that off this is extremely important you're going to want to have this because how many times have I been in a battle that I've wanted to armor swap really fast but they just keep destroying me and like hitting me with like nine damage or something that takes me out of the menu so then i can't grab that gold armor that that's that's so, so crazy to me how it takes even like nine damage out of your menu that you want to get a gold armor like that's just so dumb so you're going to want to have to turn that off if you want to turn it back on in in you know later games if it screws you up if you just die to it i mean it's up to you but um <clears throat> yeah you want to want to have to turn that off now this here is pretty much the only thing in this setting, but it's very important that you have that death box menu turned off. So right here, you're going to want to have tap and use to tap and use and reload your interact uh, interact button. You're going to want to have your uh, L2 and R2 button dead zones. That's my aim and my shoot buttons. You're going to want to have that on none. So that what that's going to be is how much like how much give your your buttons are gonna have before you start shooting so right here with, with no dead zones your buttons are gonna be like very little that you're gonna be shooting so it's gonna give you a way better reaction time to shoot and that kind of stuff <clears throat> now your menu cursor speed this is extremely extremely important so the default I think the default menu cursor is very low it's very slow and it's something like that I have mine on halfway and that seems to be fairly decent now if you put it up on the full way, your menu cursor is going to be going, you know, real fast. So what this is going to be is in your menu, in your death box menu when you're cycling through weapons, if you have this on the way back, like way default, like low mechanic, it's just going to be so slow. Look at that, it's so slow to cycle through like the death box to pick up guns and stuff, and it'll, it could potentially get you killed. So what you're going to want to do is have that on at least... Uh, halfway now your look sensitivity that's completely on your preference mine's on six and five for ads and uh, that's completely up to you guys it's not my saying it whatsoever <clears throat> so right here on your uh, your per ads sensitivity for each site for the one times iron sites it's five and then it's two times it's five three times it's five and then four times six times eight times and ten times are all six now this is, it all depends on your preference again guys, whatever your aim, or whatever your look sensitivity is, whatever you prefer, just put it as that, but this is my default right here. Okay, so now your vibrations obviously going to be turned off, that kind of stuff. Your brightness, my brightness is here just just because my monitor, it just looks way better with this uh, setting on my monitor. And then my field of view, you're going to want to have that all the way to 110, maximize it and do whatever you have to do with it and the sprint view shake you're going to, want to have that a minimal you're not going to want to have a bunch of like blurry visions and stuff in your monitor or your tv just because of this game you're going to want to have that on minimal now right here this is all up to you guys it's all in your preference whatever but that's basically it guys that's the best settings in this game and i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh leave a like if you guys did enjoy